Yes, hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafio, and coming up in this edition, as the search for Ghana's next coach continues, Otoado has popped up as one of the favorites to be handed the job as the next Black Stars head coach. How true is this? Well, you have to stick and steer as I bring you up to speed on all that you have to know on the search for Ghana's head coach. Also, coming up, well, England's Former player that is Ian Wright has called on England's head coach Gareth Southgate to hand a call up to Kobe Mainu in England's next squad that will be named for the month of March. Also, coming up, the GFA president Keto Kweku was in Kumasi for the GFA Kufuor Cup between Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Enswatriman. And after the game, something interesting happened with so Keto Kweku being booed at the stadium. Well, you would have to stick and stay if you want all the gist here on the channel. Before you get into it, you know the drill. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get right into it. And as the search for Ghana's next head coach intensified, well, reports coming in suggest that Ghana's former head coach, that is Otoado, is likely to be handed the job as the new Black Stars head coach. Well, Coach Chris Hutton, who was the former head coach of the Black Stars, was sacked as Ghana's head coach after Ghana's disappointing performance at the 2023 African Cup of Nations in Ivory Coast, where the Black Stars exited the tournament at the group stages. Well, since the sacking of Coach Chris Hutton, the Black Stars' job has become vacant, and as we prepare for the 2026 World Cup qualifiers, Ghana would need a coach that would lead us into that qualifiers where we we'll play Mali and other countries. Well, ahead of that, well, the GFA has been tasked to come up with a new coach, and the five member committee are said to have received 500 applications from coaches all over the world. And out of these 500 coaches that the GFA received their CVs, well, it turns out that Coach Otoado has popped up as one of the favorites to be handed the job. Well, why is Coach Otoado uh, looking like one of the favorites? According to the report from Inshira FM, who are uh, one of the people to have come up with this update, they claim that, well, when you look at Coach Otoado's CV, it stands tall and also he has worked with the Black Stars before. So they presume that he has the experience to become the next head coach of the Black Stars. But is Otoado ready and still qualified to become the next head coach of the Black Stars? Let's look at his statistics when he first was handed the head coach job as the Black Stars coach. So under Otoado, this was how the Black Stars performed. Coach Otoado handled 12 matches in total with the Black Stars during his first stint. Out of these 12 matches, Coach Otoado won 4 games, drew 4 games and lost 4 matches. His team failed to score in 4 matches. Under Coach Otoado, the Black Stars scored 14 goals and considered 16 goals. Ghana's biggest defeat under Coach Otoado was in the game against Japan, which we lost by four goals to one, and it was um, in that screen tournament. Well, Ghana's biggest win was against Madagascar, and I think it was in the AFCON qualifier. So this is how Ghana has fared under Coach Otoado, and is he still qualified, or does he even have everything it takes to uh, bring back the love that we have for the Black Stars because looking at the Black Stars, it seems a lot of people have given up on the Black Stars and we want a coach who can do the job. Otoado is very authoritative and all, but how is he coming to coach the Black Stars? Is it like before where he will juggle the Black Stars job with his job at Borussia Dortmund or is going to become a full-time head coach where he will resign from his post as uh, Borussia Dortmund? I think Coach Otoado has to man up if he wants to become the head coach of the Blasters. We don't want to see our coach handling Borussia Dortmund work and also handling the Blasters work. So that is the latest update on Coach Otoado. From what I'm gathering, if Coach Otoado ends up as the head coach of the Blasters, his assistant coaches would be George Boatin, who was also the uh, former assistant coach under Chris Hutton, as well as Maxwell Kodedu, who also has an experience as 
uh, an assistant coach of the Blasters. So this is the latest on Otoado and the search for Ghana's next head coach of the Black Stars. Now, away from that, let's talk about Kobe Mainu, the sensational youngster on the block. Kobe Mainu plays for Manchester United. Now, he has dual nationalities. He was born in England to Ghanaian parents. So, that gives him the opportunity to play for Ghana and also England. He played for England at the youth level. But these days, he is more uh, moving towards becoming one of the senior players at the international level currently he's doing very well for manchester united and just this weekend we saw his impressive performance which helped manchester united beat luton town in the game and oh my word the boy kobe menu is such a midfield powerhouse now last week we had reports that england's head coach gary southgate is planning to lock down the player from getting the opportunity to choose between England and Ghana, but rather going to play for England directly. Well, the latest reports coming in is that, well, England's former player, Ian Wright, who happens to be an Arsenal legend, has urged coach Gary Southgate to go for the kill and ensure that Kobe Mainu is named in England's next squad for their games in March. So, in the get uh, so after Manchester's game against Luton Town, this was what Ian Wright had to say about Kobe Mainu and the fact that he has to be given a call up to England's senior national team. Ian Wright said Kobe Mainu has to be in the next England squad. Such maturity is chaotic in chaotic conditions that we've not seen from an England player in a long time. Impressed every time I watch him. And that is what the former England international that is Iron Wright had to say and for, for Iron Wright to say something like this about a player who plays for Manchester United then you must know that Kobe Mainu is indeed a great chap. Now Kobe Mainu recently said in an interview that he is not thinking about his international decision right now but rather wants to focus on club career at Manchester United. So. He has left his door open whether to play for Ghana or to play for England. Now, before you go, let me tell you what happened at Babayara in Kumasi. It was the game between Kumasi Asante Kotoko versus Insuatruman in the J. Kufour Cup. Now, the GFA president, that is Kurt Ukruk, was one of the dignitaries at the stadium. And after the game, we saw Kumasi Asante Kotoko come from behind to beat Insuatruman by two goals to one. Well, Kato Kweku was given the honors to hand the trophy to the champions that is Kumasi Asante Kotoko. So whilst Kato Kweku was going to hand the trophy to Kumasi Asante Kotoko, the fans at the stadium started bowing at the GFA president. You know that things have not gone well with football in this country and just last week there was a demonstration to save Ghana football. So the GFA has come under serious criticisms and Ket Ukweku is really, really under pressure. So, after the game, the fans chased Ket Ukweku straight into his car and they booed him. And I want us to check the video out. So that is the video of how fans in Kumasi uh, booed the GFA president Ket Ukweku over there and Charlie, he, the man is seriously under pressure and I think that from now on he would advise himself on where, where to go and where not to go. But well, that was how we wrap up here on Sports Update Ghana. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It's always a pleasure coming your way with Sports Update here on the channel. My name is Joseph Adamafiu and until then, I'll see you on the flip side. Please subscribe.